I remember reading somewhere that a baby born on the first day, if you stood in front of them on the first day of its life, and you went, beep, beep, mm -hmm. beep, 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 for a very long time, no. and then you changed, oh, it's Only up to three. Mm. Yeah, and if you change the number, the yeah. baby startles or yeah. looks more closely. So there, there's some sense of, of pattern anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, the, the number, um, do we have any idea when that was invented or where that comes from, how old it is? Well, yes, yes. And it's interesting. You can even do some fairly robust kind of cladistics, and you'll discover that the number two is older than the number one in terms of where it's shared in the tree of language. Really? Yeah. So, you, you know, it's all conjectural. That's the lovely yeah. thing about uh, archaeology and paleo whatever. You're never going to be proved wrong, but it seems pretty plausible <laughs> that we... Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Uh, well, but, but you see these very ancient bones, the, like the Ashango bone, yes. which is tens of thousands of years old, with notches. Yes. You know, people keeping track of things and wanting to know how many. I mean, it's not quite clear what it's keeping track of, whether it's um, uh, perhaps a calendar or something. But you know, I, I think uh, you know, navigating, seeing patterns in the stars is probably where you know you start to get ma the mathematical mind working. The fact that things repeat themselves, and if they repeat themselves, then you can make predictions about the future, and that this language gives you incredible incredible power and, and you know you see that you could predict a flood or an eclipse yeah, yeah. when the, the, the flooding of the Nile they power. spotted patterns to this and there that 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 mathematical and, 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 and then once, once you've first. had the flooding of the Nile not only do you want to be, not only do you want to be able to predict the flooding of the Nile you then want to be able to, to rebuild your fields afterwards you need to have measurement and, and geometry to be able to do that. so it's a purely functional useful tool that, that societies need if we're going to trade if we're going to send ships we're going to if we're going to be interested in astrology, we need mathematics. But the, the, the really interesting transition, and I think what was interesting about the little video clip we had at the beginning, was a lot of that was applied mathematics. And it's verging on the science. And we kind of all understand why science is, is interesting, useful, and important. But, but the really weird transition, I'm not sure when this happens, this is maybe going back two and a half thousand years, is people who begin to study numbers purely for the hell of it, for the fun of it, for the surprisingness. The fact that there's this thing called a perfect number, six. Uh, one plus two plus three is six, and one and two and three are the only numbers that go into six. And 28 is uh, one, four, seven, and 14. Am I missing and one? Two. And two. And two. <laughs> Add up to 28, and a <laughs> divides into 28. But then, I don't know where the next one is up in the hundreds, isn't it? 496. So, yeah, so, so, so per... <laughs> So now, do you think that these Respect people? You. Do you think these people sort of? <laughs> did you have to get? Because I'm actually wondering whether you get notches first, or maybe circles. Do you think circles or lines precede numbers, or yeah, circles, well, lines, or triangles? Well, numbers, the abstract numbers are incredibly recent. That was mm. about eight, ten thousand years ago, most, and it was essentially money in Sumeria. Sumerian society reached a stage of complexity where the trading was obviously much better if it was mediated by something. And basically, if you want to know where numbers do, it's like following political careers. Find where the money comes from. That's where the numbers came from. <laughs>